So which band makes the best budget down jacket? If you're new to my Wish Brand Makes the Best series, this is how it usually goes. I give a rating out of 10 based on different criteria, and at the end of the video, I tap all scores to find out which brand is the winner. Down jackets are crazy expensive. You can easily spend over a grand. But can you get a quality down jacket for under $500? In this video, I have six down jacket brands all under $500, with one even as low as $150. I'm gonna be doing an extremely detailed review on each jacket, and that includes a warmth test. So how this test is gonna work, I'm just gonna be wearing two layers, this t-shirt, and a down jacket. I have with me two infrared thermometers. The white one measures my internal body temperature and the yellow one measures my exterior skin temperature. I'm going to be taking my temperature before I step outside, stay outside for 10 minutes, then immediately take my temperature right after. So I'll compile all that data and give it a warmth rating out of 10. Other criteria that I'll be rating includes functionality, fit, and overall value. So at the end of the video, I'll tie up all the scores and give you guys what I think is the best budget down jacket on the market today. So keep watching. The North Face McMurdo jacket retails for $400. It weighs 1610 grams, the fill power is 600, the colorway is Vanadi's gray, and I got this in a size small. Let's start off with the material. The shell is made from 100% nylon, and the lining on the inside of the pockets is also made from 100% polyester. The insulation is made from 75% recycled down and 25% waterfowl feathers. For the features, it has the North Face logo stitched on the left chest area and the back right side. This jacket has a total of seven pockets. At the belly, there are two large flat pockets that is fastened through Velcro. On the side, there is also a zipper pocket with a polyester lining for extra warmth for your hands. At the chest, there are two slanted zipper pockets with a polyester lining. These are slanted so you can easily put your hands through and that lining will keep your hands warm. Taking a look at the inside of the jacket, this is nylon material just like on the outside of the jacket and it is very puffy thanks to the down insulation. On the inner left side, there's a mini zip pocket that has polyester lining. Taking a look at the sleeves, it doesn't have the cuff ribbing but it does have the velcro strap so you can adjust the size of the opening. It has 600 fill stitched on. On the left side of the sleeve, it has dry vent stitched on. Dry vent is North Face signature fabric that is waterproof, windproof, and breathable. For zippers, these are black plastic YKK zippers. This does have two-way zip, which is a huge plus. It also has a storm flap behind the front zipper, and this is extra protection against wind and water from seeping through your zipper. Moving up, you have a fuzzy fleece lined shin guard for added warmth and comfort. The hood features synthetic fur that you can easily remove through these snap buttons. Also has two draw cords to adjust the fit of the hood. The time to get this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it an 8. This jacket has everything you need for a solid winter jacket. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures to 18 and a half inches, chest length measures to 22 and a half inches, sleeve lengths are 27 inches, and the length is 30 inches. Here's how the jacket looks on me. Before we get into it, I'm 5'10", 160 pounds, with a 36 inch chest, and a size small is my true to size. First impression, this jacket fits big. Even though this is a size small, this fits more like a medium. The nylon exterior isn't the most comfortable material, but you can tell that it can handle extreme winter conditions. With this 18 and a half inch shoulder width and 22 and a half inch chest width, this does give you plenty of room to layer something underneath and also makes me look buffer than I actually am, so no complaints there. Lengthwise at 30 inches, the jacket is considered parka style, so you'll see it cover your entire backside to keep your butt and crotch nice and toasty. With this 27 inch sleeve length, it does go past my wrist. This jacket does offer Velcro at the cuffs where you can adjust for a tighter fit. This is how the jacket looks zipped up all the way, the collar goes up to your chin, and the chin guard does feel very comfortable. Here's how that jacket looks with the hood on. One cool feature is that you can fold the fur back if you want less face coverage, and if the weather is getting extreme, you can fold the fur forward to give yourself more face shielding. Here's a side view and you can see how much the hood trim protrudes out to give you extra coverage. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a 7. This jacket has a very bulky fit and for someone with my body type, it doesn't look the best. Now let's get on with the warmth test. Let's measure my internal body temperature. So right now my internal body temperature is about 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And then for my skin temperature, My skin temperature is about 91.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's start the timer at 10 minutes. Let's go out there. Ooh. 
after the eight minute mark, I started to feel the chills a little bit. So my skin temperature, about 91.7. And then my internal body temperature, 98.1. So the North Eastern Royal Jacket did a really good job. My body temperature is about the same as what it was before and after. So I'm pretty impressed. For the warmth, this jacket gets a solid 9. For the overall value, I'll give it an 8. That brings a total score for the North Face McMurdo jacket, 32 out of 40. The Rad Valiance Waterproof Down Jacket retails for $395. It weighs 753 grams, the fill power is 700, the colorway is army, and I got this in a size small. The outer is made from 100% nylon with a Pertex shield. Pertex shield wrap signature hydrophilic coating that is both waterproof, windproof, and breathable. It has a hydrostatic head rating of 10,000 millimeters and a breathability rating of 10,000 grams. The filling of this jacket is 205 grams of nickel wax hydrophobic down with 700 fill power. Wrap has the installation packed in squares without any seams, and what that does is it eliminates cold spots and retains heat more efficiently. But one interesting feature is on the sleeves, this patch right here, it contains synthetic sheet insulation, but it's not as warm as down, but handles moisture a lot better. Because if you're climbing or constantly in contact with wet or grimy surfaces, this synthetic sheet insulation will handle that a lot better. It also has velcro straps for easy adjustability. This jacket has a total of three pockets, two large slanted zip pockets in the belly, but there's no extra fleece lining for extra hand warmth. Taking a look at the inside, the lining is made for 100% recycled ripstop nylon. There's an 8 inch deep vertical zip pocket. At the waist, there are two adjustable draw cords. For the zippers, this is one way zip that uses YKK vis on the zipper. The zipper does a great job preventing water from going through. It also has a storm flap behind the front zipper, and this is for extra protection against wind and water from seeping through your zipper. Moving up, you have a soft lining chin guard that is very comfortable. The hood has synthetic sheet insulation which handles moisture a lot better. There's an adjustable cord on both sides of the hood and an adjustable cord on the back of the hood. There's a stiffened brim at the top and that will help shield you from rain and snow. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it an 8. This jacket looks simple but there are so many thoughtfully crafted features in this jacket. Moving on to the fit, shoulder shoulder measures 18 inches, chest length measures to 22 inches, sleeve lengths are 26 inches, and the length is 29 and a half inches. Here's how the wrap jacket fits on me. This jacket fits very well so I do recommend going true to size. First impression this jacket doesn't look like a winter jacket, it's slim and not puffy at all. It reminds me of a rain jacket but it looks can be deceiving in terms of warmth. At 18 inch shoulder width and 22 inch chest width, this does give you room to layer underneath. For the length at 29.5 inches, the jacket has a drop tail design where the back length is longer than the front. The extra butt coverage is much appreciated. Thank you, Rab. The 26 inch sleeve length is perfect, it stops right at my wrist. This jacket does offer Velcro with the cuffs where you can adjust for a tighter fit. This is how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar covers your entire neck and stops right at the tip of your chin. The chin guard is so soft and feels great. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. You can see that the brim extends out like a baseball cap. The hood does a really good job at shielding my head and face without interfering with my vision. So what about I rate the fit? I'll give it a solid 8. Now let's test the warmth of this jacket. Alright, so the next jacket I have is from Rab. External skin temperature, 92.3. My internal body temperature, 98.1. Alright, 10 minutes. skin temperature 91 now my internal body temperature 98.1 so just a slight drop in the external skin temperature but the internal body temperature is the same so this jacket is very thin and lightweight but it does keep you warm so props to Rab. For the warmth this jacket gets an 8 Definitely a solid jacket for the winner. For the overall value, I also give it an 8. That brings a total score for the wrap jacket, 32 out of 40. 
the Fial Raven Expedition Down Light Jacket retails for $500. It weighs 1260 grams, the fill power is 700, the colorway is unblue, and I got this in a size medium. Let's start off with the material. The outer shell is made from 100% nylon, and the lining is also made from 100% nylon. The insulation is 90% goose down and 10% feather. It has a fill weight of 415 grams. For the feathers, this looks like your standard puffer style jacket. There's a small Fjall Raven badge on the left chest. It has a total of seven pockets. Two pockets that are belly secured through these two snap buttons. On the side of those same pockets, are an open pouch that you can slide your hands through. There's no zipper or buttons to secure this pouch, so it's not a good idea to store items in here because they'll slip out. Another downside is that there is no lining, so your hands won't be as warm. Taking a look at the inside of the jacket, this is the same nylon material. At the waist, there are two yellow draw cords with white leather tabs. There are elastic pouch pockets on both the right and left side. Moving up, your left side is a vertical zip pocket. For zippers, this has plastic YKK zippers. It is a two-way zip, which is a plus. It also has sworn flap behind the front zipper and snap buttons in addition to the zipper. At the sleeves, this does not have rib cuffs, but it does have snap buttons where you can snap it through the near or far side buttons for a tighter or loose fit. Moving up the shoulders have additional synthetic padding for more warmth. That's why on the back of the jacket, there's this U-shaped stitching. That's where the extra padding is located. The hood features a brim that gives you extra protection against snow and rain from falling on your face. There's two yellow draw cords with a leather tab to tighten the hood. If you're not using your hood, you can button it down at the back to keep it locked in place. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it a 7. This jacket does lack a few things that I want to win a coat, but the installation placement is very thoughtfully designed. Moving on to the fit, shoulder shoulder measures to 19 inches, chest lengths measures to 23 and a half inches, sleeve lengths are 27 inches, and the length is 29 and a half inches. Here's how the Fial Raven jacket looks on me. Size small was sold out, so I had to settle with the medium. I definitely recommend going through the size of this because this is not a slim fit. First impression, I literally look like the Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. This jacket is by far the puffiest jacket out of all 10. The yellow adjustment cord at the waist looks very sloppy, and in my opinion, Fjall Raven could have designed it better. With its 19 inch shoulder width and 23 and a half inch chest width, this jacket gives you more than enough room to layer something underneath. Lengthwise at 29 and a half inches, this jacket provides full butt and crotch coverage to keep you nice and toasty. The sleeves does not have any rib cuffs, so the 27 inch length drops down my arm and covers almost my entire hand. One solution is to use the snap buttons at the cuffs so the sleeve stops right at your wrist and your hand doesn't feel like it's drowning. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar does go above my chin, but zipping it up all the way without putting on the hood feels awkward and comfortable. If you zip up all the way like this, you have to put the hood on. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. The extra puffy hood does feel very comfortable. The brim does a great job with extra coverage but your vision is impaired because you cannot see what's on your right or left side. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a 7. This jacket is just too overly puffy for my taste. Now let's see how warm this jacket is. Fial Raven, let's do this. Internal body temperature, 98.6. External skin temperature, 91.9. Before we continue on with this experiment, I've been staying outside in the cold for the past two hours, freezing my butt off. So if you're finding this video helpful so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Being a small YouTuber, that'll mean the world to me and it'll motivate me to keep making helpful videos like this. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's continue on with this experiment. Starting the 10 minute timer. Let's do this. Is a pretty warm and cozy jacket. <laughs> All right, let's take out this chest. Eat <sighs> For my external skin temperature for the Fjall Raven, 92.3. For my internal body temperature, 98.6. The Fjall Raven. Jacket is definitely a very warm jacket. My external skin temperature went up by 0.4 degrees. And I think it's because this, this down material is really good at retaining your body heat and even warming you up. So this is definitely a really good jacket for really harsh and cold winters. So props to Fjall Raven for this 
jacket. <laughs> For the warmth, this jacket gets a perfect score of a 10. The puffiness of this jacket might not look the best, but man, can it keep you warm. For the overall value, you have to give it a 7. $500 up there for a budget jacket, but an okay price if warmth is your main criteria. That brings the total score for the Fjall Raven jacket 31 out of 40. The Eddie Bauer Glacier Peak jacket retails for $155. It weighs 800 grams, the fill power is 650, the colorway is Storm, and I got this in a size small. Let's start off with the material. This jacket is made from 100% polyester with a Storm Repel DWR Plus coating. Storm Repel is Eddie Bauer's signature coating that causes water beads to roll off the fabric instead of soaking into it. For the features, what makes this jacket special is that it is completely seamless, meaning this jacket will look more sleek compared to your average seam puffer jacket. Sleeveless jackets are also known to be less restrictive and more comfortable against your body. This jacket has a total of four pockets, two zip pockets at the belly and another zip pocket at the right chest. Take a look at the interior, there are also no seams in here. You have a nice straight and a smooth lining. On the left side, you'll find yourself another zip pocket. At the waist, you'll see two draw cords where you can adjust for a tighter fit. Take a look at the sleeve, this has ripped cuffs that is both stretchy and soft. For the zipper, it has metal YKK zippers. This does not have two-way zip, which is a letdown, but it does have a storm flap behind the front zipper. Moving up, you have a fuzzy fleece lined chin guard for added warmth and comfort. Just like the ribbed cuffs on the sleeves, there's a ribbed collar for your neck. The hood is very fluffy, it has two draw cords that you can adjust. This hood is not removable. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it a 7. Besides being seamless, this is a very basic jacket that doesn't have anything that stands out. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures to 17 inches, chest length measures to 20 and a half inches, sleeve lengths are 25 inches, and the length is 26 and a half inches. Here's how the Eddie Bauer jacket fits on me. This isn't a size small and it fits snug around my body. I would recommend going up a size if you want to layer something underneath. First impression, even though this is a seamless jacket, this does look very puffy. The material feels very soft and comfortable, especially the smooth inner lining. With the 17 inch shoulder width and 20 and a half inch chest width, this does feel narrow. The chest width is the second most narrow fit out of all 10 jackets. So going up a size is not a bad option. 25 inch sleeve links fit well and stops right at the wrist. The rib cuffs add extra warmth and comfort. The 26 and a half inch length is standard and stops right at your wrist. Don't expect to get any butter crotch coverage with this jacket. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar fits a bit snug, but the chin guard does feel great. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. There's no brims or anything fancy. This is a simple and straightforward hood. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a solid eight. Now let's see how warm this jacket is. Eddie Bauer, let's measure my external skin temperature. 91.4. All right, so let's measure my internal body temperature. 98.8. 10 minute timer, starting Ooh. now. Cold. <laughs> Let's check the external skin temperature. 89. Now the internal body temperature. 97.3. Any barrier down jacket is a very lightweight down jacket, but immediately when I step outside the first 30 seconds, I was shivering. It was cold. So this Eddie Bauer down jacket. Definitely not a good winter jacket. For the warmth, this jacket gets a 5. This is a good jacket if you live in California, but not built for anything colder than that. For the overall value, I have to give it an 8. That brings a total score for the Eddie Bauer jacket 28 out of 40, making this the lowest rated jacket so far. Let's see if the next one's any better. The Marvin Guys jacket retails for $275. It weighs 658 grams. The colorway is called Bronze Stargazer and I got this in size small. Let's start off with the material. The jacket is made from 100% polyester ripstop fabric. In case you don't know, ripstop fabric is constructed so that it prevents ripping and tearing, and that is done by nylon fibers being tightly knitted together. The lining on the inside of the pocket is made from 100% polyester as well. This has a fill power of 700 with Marmot Signature Down Defender coating. This down defender treatment is highly water resistant and stays drier 10 times longer than untreated down. For the features, it has Marvin's logo stitched in the left chest area, 
On the right back side, it has another Marmite logo stitched on. It has a total of four pockets, two zip pockets of the belly that features a polyester lining that will keep your hands warm. There's a third pocket at the right chest area. This pocket does not have any lining in it. Taking a look at the inside of the jacket, this is a puffer style jacket, so it has a lot of fluff in it. The fourth and last pocket is in the inner right side, and this pocket is huge. It's definitely bigger than the front belly pocket, so you can really carry a lot of stuff in here. At the sleeve, this does not have any rib cups, but it does feature Velcro and stretch elastic that adds to the comfort and flexibility of the cuffs. On the left side, it has the 700 fill stitched on. For the zippers, this is metal YKK zippers. This does have two-way zip, which is a huge plus. It also has a storm flap behind the front zipper, and this is for extra protection against the wind and water from seeping through the zipper. Moving up the jacket, the hood features a brim that gives you extra protection against snow and rain from falling on your face. There's two draw cords to tighten the hood, and design is very unique. All you gotta do is press down on this, and then pull down the cord, and that's it. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it a 7. This jacket is very simple. It has all the essentials, but nothing more. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures to 18 inches. Chest length measures to 20 inches. Sleeve lengths are 26 and a half inches, and the length is 26 inches. Here's how the marble jacket fits on me. This is a size small, and it fits snug against my chest. I recommend going true to size or up a size if you need to layer something underneath. First impression, this jacket has a nice fluffy feel to it. This colorway is very loud. The orange is perfect if you're lost in the mountains and the search and rescue team is trying to find you. With its 18 inch shoulder width, this fits comfortably against my body without feeling compressed. But with its 20 inch shoulder width, this is the tightest fit out of all 10 jackets, so layering something underneath can be a problem. The 26 inch length is standard and stops right at your waist. Don't expect to get any butt or crotch coverage with this jacket. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar goes up all the way and covers past my mouth. There's no chin guard. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood. On. It's a brim around the hood with extra length coming out at the top of the hood. The hood does a great job at not blocking your side vision. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a solid 7. Now let's get on with the warmth test. The next jacket I have is from Marmot. Internal body temperature, 98.8. External skin temperature, 91.4. 10 minute timer starts now. some temperatures. External skin temperature, 89.9. My internal body temperature, 98.6. My skin temperature did drop about a degree with the Marmot jacket. My internal body temperature did drop about 0.2 degrees. This is a very lightweight thin jacket. It is a decent jacket, but I, I did feel the wind chill. I don't recommend this jacket for extreme winter temperatures. So there you have it. For the warmth, this jacket gets a seven. Definitely not the best jacket to wear when it's below freezing. For the overall value, I'll give it an eight. That brings the total score for the Marmot Guy jacket. 29 out of 40, making this the second lowest rated jacket so far. Let's see if the next one's any better. The Orlay hooded thick and windproof jacket retails for $150. It weighs 1500 grams. The fill power is 650. The colorway is green and I got this in a size small. This is a men's version of the famous Amazon coat. The women's version has over 23,000 reviews and this jacket was also featured on Good Morning America. So I'm very excited to try out their men's version. Let's start off with the material. This jacket is made from 100% polyester. The insulation is 90% white duck down and 10% feathers. This has a fill power of 650. For the features, the first thing that caught my eye are the orange cords on the zippers. It has the Orle logo engraved on. Another thing that caught my eye are the pockets. There are a total of six pockets, two big pockets at the belly. The lining is the same material as the rest of the jacket. It has the Orle logo printed on. At the chest, there are two more zip pockets. Taking a look at the inside of the jacket, it has more of that Orlay branding. At the right side, there's a vertical zipper pocket that's big enough to store your 
phone. On the left side, there's a horizontal mini pocket. On the top half of the jacket, there's a thermal layer to help retain your body heat, which is a nice addition, something that I've never seen from any other down jacket brand. At the sleeve, there's rib cuffings to prevent wind from blowing up your sleeves. This material is very stretchy and soft, so it adds to the comfort. On the left top sleeve, there's a small Orole logo stitched on. For the zippers, this is plastic matte black zippers. It's very smooth and that orange cord makes it very easy to use. At the waist, they have these two zippers. If you're doing something where you're moving a lot like skiing, you want to zip this all the way so your movement isn't restricted by the jacket. But if you're not doing anything, just zip it down for a snugger fit around the waist. Moving up to the hood, it has an extra fleece lining for added warmth and comfort. There are two draw cords to adjust the tightness of the hood. In addition to the hood, this jacket also features a collar to keep your neck nice and warm. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For this functionality, I'll give it an A. There's a couple of cool features in this jacket that makes it stand out from other brands. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures 20 inches, chest length measures to 22 and a half inches, sleeve lengths are 25 inches, and the length is 32 and a half inches. Here's how the Orlay jacket fits. This is in a size small and it fits well. I recommend going true to size. First impression, the jacket feels light and the material feels easy to move around it. Orange zipper cords gives it a nice subtle pop of color. With its 20 inch shoulder width and 22 and a half inch chest width, this jacket gives you enough room to layer something underneath. The 20 inch shoulder width is the largest out of all 10 jackets. Lengthwise at 32 and a half inches, this is the third longest jacket out of all 10. You can see that the jacket stops right around mid thigh and provides full coverage for your butt and crotch. The 25 inch sleeve lengths are perfect because it stops right at the wrist. The rib cuff feels soft and comfortable. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar is short, you can see that it stops right below my throat. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. The polyester lining inside the hood feels very soft and comfortable. It also provides extra warmth around your head. The hood is very simple and straightforward, no extra add-ons, brims, or anything like that. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a solid 8. Now let's get on with the warm test. All right, for the next jacket I have is from Orole. My exterior skin temperature, 91.9. And my internal body temperature, 98.2. All right, let's start the timer. 10 minutes starts now. Internal body temperature, 98.2. My exterior skin temperature, 90.3. Very lightweight, but it still keeps you warm, so good job. For the warmth, this jacket gets a 7. The interior thermal layer does a great job in keeping this jacket lightweight and thin, while also retaining body heat in mild winter conditions. For the overall value, I have to give it an 8. At only $150, Orle is packed with cool and useful features, and most importantly, the insulation does keep you somewhat warm. That brings the total score for the Orle jacket 31 out of 40. And the winner of the best budget down jacket goes to... It's a tie between the North Face McMurdo Parka and Rav Valiants with a total score of 32 out of 40. The runner-ups are Fjall Raven Expedition Down Light Jacket and Orle with a total score of 31 out of 40. Now here are the final results starting with the top three. And here are the next three. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with my rankings or not. And I do read all your comments. If you want to see more Down Jacket videos, click the playlist right here to binge watch everything Down Jackets. And that's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.